four-year-olds set to go. Pacers for the fifth race, the $80,000 Aquarius Series Final. Here they come. They're off. Joe Paz Benchmark trying to leave on the outside. Soho guns out there. From the inside comes Royal Majesty with some early speed. Soho and Silverman right to the top here. Joe Paz Benchmark caught wide there, and uh, Jim Morrill Jr. steers him in. It's Royal Majesty now second on the inside, and Joe Paz Benchmark is left out there as Cheyenne Ray fills the gap in fourth. Three Olives is fifth in the opening quarter mile. Noble Cam is sixth, and the Commissioner is seventh. Past the quarter, it's Soho in 28. Down the back stretch, Soho sets the pace. An easy winner in the preliminary licks. Goes for three in a row tonight with Silverman. Royal Majesty Campbell riding his pocket. Joe Paz benchmark parked out there, stalled in third. Stride for stride with Cheyenne Ray, who's locked in fourth now. As Noble Cam takes out, his second over, fifth on the outside, approaching the half mile. Three olives on the inside with nowhere to go six. Then it's the commissioner who tips out third over from seventh past the half in Soho in 56 and two. Soho is going solo in control. A length and a half advantage on Royal Majesty. A perfect trip. Joe Paz benchmark first over. Still parked out there. Brutal journey for him. Noble Cam is stuck behind him. Will have to come three wide now. And Pierce commits to that move. Cheyenne Ray is locked in on the rail fifth. The commissioner on the outside keeps three olives wedged in on the rail. Soho is under submerging now. Three wide comes Noble Cam with good momentum. Pierce has got him roused. And Campbell looks for room with Royal Majesty. Three quarters, 125 in the stretch. And it's Soho's race to win or lose here in the Aquarius. It's Soho trying to go all the way. On the outside, Noble Cam trying to pour it on. Royal Majesty on the inside. Campbell wants to squeeze on through. Here comes Cheyenne Ray now, bursting through late for the surge. Soho is almost there. Cheyenne Ray is airborne on the outside. It's tight. Very close to call here. Soho on the inside. Cheyenne Ray was flying. 152 and three. By Northern Luck out of spray can by Keystone Ore is owned by the Sure TH Stable and Valdor Farms of New Jersey. Trained by Bruce Regal and the winning driver, Richard Silverman. Three in a row, a complete sweep of the Aquarius Series for Soho. The mile tonight, 152 and three-fifths, a $60,000 yearling purchase. Trained by Bruce and his wife, Diane Regal. Certainly at the top of his game right here. As Soho completes the sweep of the Aquarius final in reign to Richard Silverman. Trainer Bruce Regal with a impressive resume of great horses, including three diamonds, Leah Almahurst, Steinem's Place. He also drove the outstanding Division Street, the very first driver for Arts Place in a baby race, and he also drove Western Hanover in some baby starts, so he certainly had a great background in the sport. Congratulations to the uh, winning connections, Sure T8 Stable, and the Valdor Farms. Mr. Howard Shore winning the 1998 Meadowlands Pace with Day in a Life. And in a few moments, we'll have the Winner's Circle interview right now. The four Soho Pays 420, 240, and 220. Three Cheyenne Ray, 280 and 240, and two Royal Majesty, 340. Four three exacta, 1360. Four three two trifecta, 5280. John Federa and Steve Wynick, horse owners, making the presentation to the winning connections. Post time for the sixth race, 9.15 in 15 minutes. Most time for the sixth race in 15 minutes. It starts the pick four. Races six through nine, $75,000 guaranteed net pool. Exacta trifecta wagering as well. No changes in races six, seven, and eight. In race nine, scratch seven, SBF 40 is sick. Those are the changes. Just that one scratch in the ninth race. The seven SBF 40 sick in the pick four races tonight. Again, congratulations to the winning connections. 
Bob Hayden will get winner's circle reaction momentarily. Door and Richard Silverman winning driver, Richie, uh, as advertised. Soho two in a row coming into the final. A lot of people expected a wire-to-wire -wire effort. What about you coming in? Well, you know, in these type of races, sometimes you want to stay to the same form that you've been racing in, and uh, I had it in my head. I was going to let him pace out of there and see who took a shot at me, but uh, I was kind of bent on uh, wanting to be on the front. I don't see many horses go through a nice three-year-old season into the four-year-old season straight through and be this effective. Uh, and I'll tell you, all that credit goes to Bruce and his wife, uh, keeping him sharp and uh, on top of his game. It's very hard to do, as I stated before, and uh, he's done a great job with him. Did you hear Cheyenne Ray coming late? Yeah, I sure did. I was getting a little worried. Uh, but, you know, it's very tough to cut miles here at the Meadowlands. And this horse has been really leaving every week and doing his work on the front. And uh, it's hard to sustain that week in and week out. And racing straight through, is this as good right now as he's been? Yeah, you know, he's tremendous. And uh, I think as long as he stays competitive against his own age group, he's going to be very, very, very tough to beat. Okay, Richard. Michael Granoff, you told me that a couple years ago, Soho wasn't even the first stringer there in your, in your barn in Valdor. Now we thought Monsoon Hall and Kilowatt were our top horses uh, going into the 01 season with the two-year-olds. But Soho has really been the one that tries the hardest all the time, and he's an overachiever. And as Richie said, a lot of the credit really goes to uh, Bruce and Diane, who've done a fantastic job with him. I noticed the uh, racing against the old horses is tough, and now he's in with four-year-olds, and he's been dominant so far. What would the plans be from here on out with him? Well, I guess he'll uh, maybe get a week off, but he'll stay here at the Meadowlands for a little bit, and then uh, we'll see where the stake season and his conditioning takes us. You've had some top horses die laughing among them. Uh, Soho rank up there? Yeah, I think uh, he does. He's the most exciting horse we've had since Stan Forever, uh, who set the world record in a half and was our first uh, 49 horse. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's, he's right up there with them. Okay, congratulations. Soho has done it. He's one of the Aquarius, all the connections. Shore, Stable, Valdor, Richie Silman, and Bruce and Henry.